Hi, this is Audra with Cooking Couture Atlanta. Hey, I'm going to do this new recipe for a key lime cake that I see. Um, yes, I'm gonna do something different. Nobody's here to talk to me. I can't play any music in the background. So darn, it calls for all purpose flour. We're gonna see how it turns out. I have a few people that really like key lime. <clears throat> cakes and <clears throat> I am going to let them try out this new recipe. It calls for three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm getting flour everywhere. So you know you mix your dry mix together. So three cups of oh I'm putting a dent in that little bag. Well that was a big bag of flour. I'm putting a dent in that bag of flour. <clears throat> one and one half teaspoons of salt. So you mix all your dry stuff together, then you get a whip and you mix it all together to make sure it's all in there. So that's one and a half teaspoon. One and a half teaspoon. <laughs> that's for good luck. I'm making a mess. And then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. <clears throat> I know I have everything I need here for making cookies. I have everything here to make cakes, cookies, brownies at the drop of a hat. So I have the three cups of flour, one and one half te teaspoons of salt, <clears throat> and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to mix my dry mix up together, and we're going to blend that in with the, um, with the wet in a minute, so I'm going to put that to the side. Oh, you know what else I need to put to the side for this recipe, honey? They want the lime juice. It's key lime cake, remember? I got my key lime zest here. So, I have... Um, I need three fourths cups of buttermilk. Okay. Make sure all your buttermilk and everything is room temperature and uh, it really makes a difference. Okay, <clears throat> third cup of lime juice. Okay, so the buttermilk and the lime juice are doing this thing over here to the side. I love the science of baking cakes. Cool stuff is happening over there. Okay, so now what I need to do is get me two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar, a cup of butter. Blend the sugar and the butter together just like I do when I'm making cookies. Fluff that up and then add the eggs one at a time. Five large eggs. And sometimes if I feel like the eggs aren't that large, I will, um, I'll put an extra egg in there because the eggs really give it its pound cake consistency. So I'm doing a key lime pound. I could make layers out of it, but it's easier for my whole life for me just to do pound cakes while I'm in the house right now. When we open back up the bakeries, we will be doing everything. So, this bowl is designed to be held right here. And that really helps. All right, so I'm mixing in my two sticks of butter and two cups of sugar. And then I'm going to um, politely add me five eggs, blending them, doing them one at a time, one at a time, each egg one at a time. Sometimes I have to give that left hand a break. <laughs> okay. Number four, batter's looking good. If you think you're going to like bake more than one cake in your life, pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to how the batter looks and smells and feels so when something goes wrong or 
something happens, you can kind of look at it and tell. Okay, so the buttermilk and lime juice has been doing this thing together. And then the baking soda and salt and everything is over here. So what you do is you just add a little bit, stir this in, and then you add a little flour. You rotate, go back and forth with it. Let it do its chemistry thing. It's better when it's a system. You know, that's so funny because people used to always say, you are gonna tell people how to make your cakes. And I said, I don't know. I said, but if I tell them how to make it, that doesn't mean I'm gonna tell them the system because the system is everything. Like how you blend it, keeping stuff at room temperature, mixing all the dry together and all the wet together and then how you combine it and how you mix it, how long you mix it and all that. It really matters. I don't know, I'm not liking the way. It's not as smooth as I would like it. So, I think I might not be putting a whip on it enough. So I have my mixer ready to go. Woo! Woo! I just do not like all this flat. I feel like I'm losing ingredients. So, it's not just that my arm strength is playing. I like the way it looks better. You see it's so cool how these bowls have the little pouring stop. It makes it easier to pour stuff out of it. And when you rotating back and forth, you should always end with the fly. I'm gonna add green food color to it to make it green. Because people really want their key lime cake to be green. But the lime is what gives you the key lime flavor. It does not hurt to add a little um, lime extract. If you can find it, it looks better than what I said. It up with my arm. Even if I use my whip, this recipe says not to over mix. It has me a little paranoid. I like the way it looks. It's gonna be an old-fashioned pound cake for sure. It doesn't really take a long time to whip up it's not a homemade cake, homemade dishes, pancakes. It doesn't take a long time. You have everything, and I and I keep everything to bake. Everything. You have your closet top of this box. I like to juice my uh, cake, especially like a key lime. I'll make the uh, key lime juice. Um, just, I'll take key lime juice and uh, powdered sugar and juice the cake. I might have forgot to order it, which I put it in. But it's okay, as long as I end on flour. Pan. I have the avalanche going over here. Alright, it's all mixed up. I'm going to put a little green food color in here. I just want to mix it up a little before I turn the mixer on because I don't like the splash. 
Look at this Delta good and green. And then I'm going to throw it in the pan. Okay, so the cake is finished. It is delicious and it tastes so good. I forgot to take a picture and I forgot to finish the videotape, but I'm really happy with this recipe. It's a few things that I wanna tweak, but um, I might rock with this.